What's going on, America? This is Kevin from Kevin's Corner. And apparently, CNN doesn't agree with the White House for revoking Jim Acosta's, um, you know, access to the White House. You know, they just took his little, his pass. He's not allowed in the club anymore because he don't know how to play right in the sandbox. That's the problem. Okay, Jim, there's a lot of toys in the box, but you don't want to share. I mean, other kids like the blocks too. You can't just be grabbing the blocks, hogging the blocks, and then when other kids come to get a block, and you, what, what are you doing? You see, I'm, you see, I'm playing with the blocks, and Jim gets on Anderson Cooper last night, and apparently he starts to plead his case. I mean, I I was just I was simply asking questions. See, this is damage control right here, because see, when you look at a guy like Jim Acosta, he's thinking, okay, this is my big shot to get a solo. Between me and the president, as if nobody else is in the room, ask multiple questions. It's not my mic. They handed me the microphone. Okay. I didn't bring the mic in. Okay. This is the this is the company mic. All right. This is the house mic. I didn't bring my own equipment. They gave me their mic. Okay. This isn't the Jim Acosta show. It's not CNN Live. He didn't request a full half an hour interview with the president. He's really lucky that the president gave him an opportunity to ask the question, considering the whole room was filled with people going, ooh, ooh, me, 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 pick me. So the president, knowing probably most likely that Jim Acosta was going to get up there and make a fool and a spectacle of himself. You can't even expect him to ask a sensible, reasonable question. Um, knowing Jim, he's going to say, you know what, let me do something extreme. So now that the story will become about me and how I was treated for just trying to be a very moral, upstanding reporter who doesn't have a political agenda, but just just cares about people. I'm not I'm not a protester. I'm not an advocate disguised as a reporter. I'm just a reporter to just want some some simple facts so I can regurgitate those facts to the public accurately. That's what he wants us to think. So Jim gets up there and he gives a leading question and the president sees it's coming. He's like, oh, here we, go. here we go. Here we go. And I was listening to it again. I tried to say, you know what? Let me go back, watch the video again. As the president is addressing the first two or three questions Jim had, he's throwing multiple, you know, dialogues and questions at the president. And he's like, look, I want people to come. Okay. Right here. Jim should shut his mouth. All right. He saw the writing on the wall. I want people to come. I just want them to come according to the law. He's like, and you know why I want them to come? Because, you know, he tried to change it. The president trying to give him a way out. He's saying, Jim, I need you right now to pull the parachute before you hit the ground because it's coming, but not Jim. Jim doesn't see that. And so what ends up happening is he goes on another rebuttal to the president's response, you know, and the president's like, okay, tell you what, instead of playing around with, Jim Acosta, who's trying to bait me into a, a argument or a debate and had the president say something out of impulse or, you know, just he's trying to trap you. He says, tell you what, you, I'll run the country. Let me run the country. You run CNN and so on and so forth. At this point, he's like, you're done. Pass the mic. Now, at that point, compliance. Now, everybody talks about compliance and, 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 and with authority, with the law and stuff like that. If I'm out and I, the police pull up on the scene and they say, excuse me, uh, I need you guys to move away because we're handling something. I need you guys to move along. All right. It's always the one person who says, I'm not ready to go yet. Or man, don't touch me, officer. I leave whenever I'm ready. You already know what's coming after that. If the authority says, okay, that's enough. Pass the mic. Guess what you do, Jim? You grab the mic, say, here you go. We'll finish this some other time. But no, not Jim, not Jim. See, it would be like the police telling you to keep moving. And everybody says, I get it. I get it. I'm walking. But nah, not Jim. He's going, hey, man, stop pushing me, man. Hey, hey, I'm about to leave. That's when you see the body language of the police change from being nice to, okay, put my pad up, go to my hip and other things happen. So Jim wasn't paying attention to that. So Jim, 
According to him, he was just asking some questions. I just wanted my questions asked. And then this lady comes up to me and I was just trying to tell her I didn't put my hands on her. And then when you watch the video, you see the quick judo chop to her arm to make sure that get away from me. I'm letting you know that you peon because notice he didn't even look at her. I mean, she tried to grab the mic. He's so caught up and hyper focused trying to embarrass the president, get the president into an argument or debate so he can get some airtime later. He didn't even look at the girls. It's like, watch out. The judo chop chops the arm, but he didn't touch her. And see, this is the problem with CNN. They condone that baby. They supported him and they got enough willfully ignorant followers who was probably looking at the spin that they tried to put on it when they released a statement talking about uh, this uh, attack on Jim Acosta was just, it, it threatens our constitution. It threatens uh, the, 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 the mouth of the media and all that stuff. And I'm going, no, it doesn't. What it does, it exposes the fact that you guys are not a real news station. You are a propaganda station. And when you defend behavior like this man, it, it just takes away from real journalists who are out there trying to do some real work and ask questions that benefit us. Okay. Not questions that make Jim look good on TV and Jim got embarrassed and it was so beautifully done when the president got finished, when he walked, start walking around, Jim got the hint real quick. Like, uh Oh, I'm about to get seriously embarrassed on TV one way or another worse than I've already embarrassed myself thus far. Cause you know, what's coming either the president's going to come down there and say, Jim, Come here, let me talk to you for a minute. You, you want me to get physical with you? Or some of the goons on the side is going to say, President, just give us what? Okay, everybody move on it. And Jim was going to get drug out, kicking and screaming. But Jim got the hint real quick. And then that's when the president had to treat him like the kid he is on the playground that doesn't want to share, doesn't want to you know, stop whining. The teacher like, look, I need you to be quiet. But, 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 but. And then he treated him like that, had to scold him, verbal lashing. Jim got spanked verbally right there on national TV. You know what you are? You are a self-centered, bratty, and blank, 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 blank. And basically we're saying, and you know why you're like that? Because your parents don't discipline you. In this case, his parents is CNN. They're the ones at home allowing the kid to behave like this and have no repercussion. Thus, them defending this kid's behavior. He wasn't, my son didn't do nothing. Why you could, look, he, all he did was grab all the blocks. He could, well, yeah, he might push a couple kids, but so what? See, this is what I'm talking about, people. When it comes down to propaganda, to CNN, why people say the fake news is the enemy of the people, because see, according to them, Jim was just trying to do his job. He wasn't doing nothing. If they were smart, they would go ahead and say, Jim, we got to cut ties with you because you just embarrassed the whole program. But no. They would rather ride this out, stick with Jim, and switch the narrative from being Jim Acosta goes too far, embarrasses himself, rudely interferes with the press conference, and then pushes a girl's arm out the way when she was just simply trying to do her job. It doesn't look good on a PR standpoint, but they don't care. They don't care. You know why they don't care? Because they're saying our seven or eight viewers they don't care either. They're going to stick with us. So let's just go ahead and keep it moving and try to flip this and spin it and make it seem like it was the president being insensitive and didn't want to answer tough questions. Anyway, there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Fake, phony news station CNN strikes again. Anyway, God bless you. Uh, I hope they keep that uh, his past away forever. Ever, never, ever give it back to Jim, okay? Because that's his only platform and stage right now. O outside of that, what is he going to cover? That That's all he do. I can't see him outside. Like, this is the weather. Uh, it's breezy out here. And, and Andrew's saying it's cold. Yeah, he would be done. So anyway, find me on Facebook. Find me on Twitter. Check me out Wednesday nights at 730. Kevin's live radio blog talk show. If you missed last night's live stream, please check it out, man. It was some heavy, heavy, heavy stuff being said throughout that live stream i know it's two hours but if you need to slide through and check it out i said some really good stuff that even myself when i went back and looked at listened to it i was like yeah that's pretty i didn't even see how that just flowed off the top of the head but it was great it's gr great clips that you can send to other people dealing with 
liberalism, you know, they're suffering from it sometimes, you know, they're shaking and twitching. And you're like, is there a cure, doc? Just give them a small dose of Kevin's Corner every once in a while. You might start seeing some changes take place. Anyway, God bless you. Check out Extreme Tees, my sponsor. The link is in the bottom. Uh, they're doing a promotion. I always also spoke about that promotion in last night's live stream. So check them out. If you want to donate to Kevin's Corner, you can do that as well. And don't forget to hit like, share. Let's get to 100,000 subscribers. And we will see you next time in Kevin's Corner.